court calls the case of the people versus Marquita Simmons. She's on. Looks like she is. Can you state your name, please? Marquita Simmons, sir. Your Honor, Ms. Simmons is before the court for a violation of probation hearing. Um, she is at her two-year max of a probation term. She <clears throat> owes a balance of three hundred and seventy. I'm sorry, three thousand seven hundred and seventy-five dollars. She's made no payments towards uh, for fines and costs and/or restitution. She's failed to report to probation as directed. Failed to complete the theft class. Failed to complete her twenty-five dollars of community service. Failed to complete or submit her fingerprints. She also failed the bench warrant out of the fifteenth district court. Given all of the violations in in this case, probation is asking that she be remanded for three hundred and sixty-five days in jail. <laughs> that she complete the in-jail MRT program with the court to consider an early release of my completion of that program, waive remaining terms, accepting the financial obligation and a discharge from her probation. Thank you, Your Honor. I had, did have the opportunity to discuss this with Ms. Simmons on a few occasions. We did discuss both the alleged violations as well as the recommendation. Ms. Simmons uh, does acknowledge and admit that she has violated probation in those alleged ways. However, as to the recommendation, she uh, represented to me that she is a single mother to a four-year-old nonverbal autistic daughter. And very unfortunately, she did struggle with homelessness starting in December of last year and last month. She was able to get into state housing in Flint. We uh, are respectfully requesting the court to consider discharging Ms. Simmons from probation without improvement, but in ordering the restitution, of course, or continuing that order, but we are asking the court to consider not remanding her at this time. Ms. Simmons uh, does acknowledge and take responsibility for the violations, but she is very concerned that if she was remanded, certainly to serve a year in jail, that her four-year-old daughter would have, frankly, nowhere to go, and she has nowhere else that would care for her, and that we would respectfully request the court to not remand her or order any jail time, but to just simply discharge her uh, from probation without a um, she's, but she's done nothing. And your honor, I would also like to state this: this case started as a felony. I mean, the court is aware of that. Yeah. It was reduced down to a misdemeanor. Um, and she's made no effort to get any of the things done. Um, I do know that she had some communications with my office, um, indicating that she was never told. Um, which they never told what? Um, that there was many attempts made by my office to get her back into compliance and or reach out to her. Um, the only time that uh, probation started to hear from her um, with any consistency was yesterday before court. No, um, excuse me, Judge, may I speak, please? Yes, go ahead. Um, I never even met Miss Ellen. After the court date and all the appearances and things like that, I tried to contact her to see what the stipulations of my probation was. She you never tried to contacted contact me. My, you, hold on. You, you're telling me you tried to contact my probation office and they didn't call you back? Yes, sir. I, I do not believe that. I don't believe yes, that for a minute. Yes, sir. I don't I don't have no reason to lie on this lady or myself, sir. I did report where I was supposed to, and I contacted her, and I talked to the secretary lady. A lot of times she was always in court, and she said she would give her the message to Ms. call me Palera back. Ms. is only in court with me two days a week max. So that that I know that's not true. I don't have to lie to if you, If you sir. want me to go pull the phone logs, we can tell exactly when you may have called. What dates did you call? It's been a long time. It's been over a year since I've called. That's been a long time. It's been over a year. Your Honor, I can tell you, I've received a total of three report forms from her in the two years. Three, three report forms. Three, a total of three in the two years. I have had full conversations. Well, just so the record's clear, that's a monthly reporting form. Correct. So, if my math's correct, two years is twenty-four, and only received three. Correct. So we're about twenty-one short. Go ahead, Ms. Blair. I'm sorry. Uh, I also spoke with her directly on March 20th. Um, the, the violation of probation hearing was set then 
when I spoke with her on that day, I all I got was a lot of I am not going to do that and I can't do that. Um, and I, I advised her finances. that this I don't have day, the finances. I don't have the finances in my account. To give her some time to get things completed, and she's done nothing. I don't have the finances. If you're taking care of a four-year-old autistic child, what finances do you have? I don't have the finances to pay for restitution. I don't have, I've been said this in court a long time ago. You had a felony that got reduced to a misdemeanor. You took the misdemeanor, got placed on probation for the longest time. Okay. Give that time. You want to keep interrupting me? You go right ahead. And then you did nothing. <laughs> and then you come before this court. You know, you don't even file the monthly form. That doesn't even require you to be there. You you did that three times out of 24 times. You did all of the, you did nothing. And then you get here. And, you know, the problem <laughs> You you then try to blame Miss Polera that she didn't call you back. First of all, in the years that I've worked with, with Miss Polera, that doesn't happen. You tried to call out and tried to blame the wrong person. Right. Anything else, Kevin? Defendant, defendant is remanded to serve 365 days Washtenaw County Jail. I'm ordering that the defendant report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to report will result in a bench warrant. Will that bench warrant will issue without bond? I don't have any way to. Do you want to keep interrupting me? Uh, I just, I'm sorry, sir. I'm <laughs> While in jail, the defendant is to complete the in-jail MRT program. I will consider early release upon completion. I will weigh the remaining terms, accept the financial obligations, discharge the defendant from probation without improvement. And if you want to believe that I won't issue that warrant, ma'am, try me. Thank you. Judge Simpson, how would I supposed to get down there at 6 p.m. with no transportation? Court calls the case. People versus Jeremiah Stanley. Yeah. You have them or no? He's can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. He was being there. Hello, sir. Okay. I need a camera. Uh, I've tried to turn it on. I don't know how things have well, changed. That you were upset about having to wait. So now we have to wait until you can turn your camera on. Can you see me now? Amazing how that works. Miss yeah, it, just, it just gave me an option, sir. Sir, I think for you, uh, probation's recommendation regarding the violation, uh, would you ask that you stop for recommendation? Uh, for Conversation about maybe some week. He says he's going to work on that as soon as possible. Uh, he he is going to provide Miss Blair with his um, work authorization or work proof. Uh, and again, we ask that you adopt that recommendation today. Uh, and we did talk about the way he is very concerned because he's at work right now. I. I'm sorry that my life happens to have emergencies. I'm on the bench no, every day. You're, you're, and you're if you fine, think sir. for him, I'm going to leave my daughter out on the side of a highway, not going to happen. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sir. I totally understand it. I had a I'm friend done. of myself. I, I had a friend of myself commit suicide this morning. I've had a very difficult morning. And I'm. Miss Pereira, sure what did you want to tell the court? Your Honor, uh, I just wanted to provide to the court that Mr. Stanley is in violation of the terms that was ordered by the court. 
probation, um, would ask that the court give Mr. Stanley a chance to complete probation terms and is re recommending that he uh, serve three days in jail, credit for the three days that he served, that the balance of his 975 be paid by the application of his bond that he posted, that the court extend the prosecutor deferred for a period of nine months, that he report to probation tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. in person, then as directed, that he become compliant with all previously ordered terms of this court within 30 days with the final review hearing February 12, 2025 at 9 a.m. Sir, anything you want to say before I impose that? Uh, I, I agreed to give over the bond money to pay for the fines. Uh, that was the money I was saving up. Uh, I'm sorry that I failed to comply with the fingerprints and the outpatient therapy and everything else. I just, I want to keep my job and not go to jail and lose it possibly. Sense of the court, three days Washington County Jail credit for the three days that he served for the violations to date. He's to pay nine hundred and seventy-five or nine hundred and seventy-five balance today. I will apply the bond, which will account for nine hundred of that. The balance has to be paid today. The I will extend his prosecutor deferred sentence for a period of nine months. I'll order that the defendant is to report to probation on Thursday, May 9th at eleven thirty a.m. in person and then report as directed. He is to become compliant with all previous order terms within 30 days. I will schedule a final review hearing on February 12, 2025, 9 a.m. Sir, is there any way that I can show up tomorrow to pay the remainder? Fine. Pay it tomorrow. All right. Thank you, sir. Are we done? Thank you. Yes, sir. Court calls the case. People versus date.